Well, 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 congratulations to Jermaine the Iron Lady Durandame in a very impressive victory over Rocky Pennington. Now, I do have to say this, and I'll say it quite bluntly. Now that Jermaine has appeared to get the rust off, how about we challenge somebody that's not impaired or disabled? Stay tuned. I look at my opponents as very dangerous and, and them trying to, you know, ruin my career. And I take that at, at 110% serious. Kill or be killed. And uh, I don't want to be killed. All right, all right. LD MMAC. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Well, folks, let me tell y'all something, okay? This is the fight, to me, that's going to make the most sense, okay? That's Juliana Pena, the Venezuelan Vixen, versus Jermaine, the Iron Lady, the Randomay. This fight makes all the sense in the world. When you look at the Bantamweight division, the Bantamweight division right now is a skeleton division. You got fighters that are either out for, you know, various different reasons, or they can't fight like for one the champion Amanda Nunes well she's tied up you know she's tied up with Chris Cyborg you got Kat Zingano she's tied up with Megan Anderson okay uh, Marion Reno we don't know when she's scheduled to fight again um, you have uh, Sarah McMahon is pregnant and then you have like different fight you have all the fighters that are in that division you know that are either doing something or the fighters that are available these fighters they're on the low end of the totem pole Jermaine Duranda May is ranked number four. Okay, she just beat the she just beat the number rank the number five ranked fighter in a division. So it would only make sense for Julianne Pena to actually go ahead and take on Jermaine Duranda May. Okay, I mean it's just how it is. It'll make sense. Um, this fight probably has been needed for a while, and I think Jermaine Duranda May needs an opponent who isn't you know disabled right now, who isn't having issues. And I think Juliana Pena would be the perfect opponent. Now, you know, I also think that this fight should be a number one contendership bout. It should be, okay? It should be because these two are two of the top fighters in the division. And you have a lot of fighters, guys. You have a lot of fighters that, you know, they're not fighting the best competition. But I think Juliana was ready. I think she'd been ready for this fight. And Juliana been in training. I mean, she's lost a lot of that, that you know, we call it baby fat, <laughs> Uh, she's lost all of that, man. The weight's gone. Juliana Pena looks like she's ready to fight right now, okay? And I kid y'all not. Juliana Pena looks ready to go right now. And, you know, I'm looking at some of her training videos, man. It's just crazy. Like, for example, see, the Bantamweight division is so skeleton because Holly Holm has just got out of a surgery, so she's not going to be available for a while. Ketlin Vieira just had a surgery. She's not going to be available. Okay, Juliana Pena is coming. Well, she's actually now ready. She's coming off of a maternity leave. Uh, you know, Rocky Pennington just got beat up by Jermaine Durandame and then took an ass whooping from Amanda Nunes. Kat Zingano is tied up with Megan Anderson. Okay, we don't know when a return of Mario Reno is going to happen. Okay, it's probably going to happen sometime in 2019. Aspen Ladd just got out of a fight, so, you know, Aspen Ladd probably won't be back for another three months unless the UFC decide to put her in a short notice fight. But seeing as though the damn girl can barely make weight, I doubt they do that. Sarah McMahon on maternity leave. Yana Kuniskaya is available. Irene Adenia. Betch Cohea got all those concussions. I'm pretty sure that Betch Cohea is not going to be available. And if they do, if they try to give Juliana like a tune-up fight, they would feed her, but they would give her Betch Cohea. Betch Cohea is like the tune-up uh, queen now. Tanya Evinger, she just lost, okay? She just got beat by Aspen Ladd. And it also leaves Lucy Pudelova and Lena, Lins uh, Lena Lansberg. So, really fighting any of those people isn't going to do anything for Juliana Pena getting a title shot. The clear victory or the clear culprit, they, her and Jermaine Duranda may need to go. Okay, this will definitely, without a 100% shot of a doubt, determine who gets a title shot. I think so. I don't think Ketlin Vieira is going to be back in time anyway. I don't think so. 
and you know Chris is gonna fight um, I mean Amanda Nunes is gonna fight Chris Cyborg in December and so you, you're probably looking at Ketlin and all these people being back in what March maybe maybe March well you know Juliana Pena will already be back uh, Jermaine Duranda is here why not I mean there's no sense in having you know the, the, the UFC you know multiverse wait to see if you know when Ketlin's coming back when Holly's coming back we don't need to wait for all these people okay we don't need to Juliana Pena is a pretty good draw Okay, Jermaine Durandam has a lot of buzz around her name for that stuff she pulled against Holly Holm and then her duck and Chris Cyborg. A lot of people would love to see Jermaine get beat. Now, my breakdown of the fight is different. I think Juliana Pena, to me, could probably be one of the only grapplers outside of Amanda Nunes that could beat Jermaine Durandam. And I'm going to tell you why. See, Rocky Pennington is not really known as a great grappler. She's not known. Her ground game is not like legendary. Juliana Pena got a ground game, okay? Her ground game is pretty dominant, and she does a good job with it. Juliana Pena also closes the distance very, very well. With Rocky Pennington, she's not good at closing distance, so that's why Rocky was having such a tough time. Juliana Pena won't have a, time, a tough time closing distance, okay? Uh, Jermaine isn't that fast on her feet, but Jermaine is very crafty, and she's very technical. So where Jermaine don't have the foot movement, Jermaine is going to use her hands, to create distance and she's going to counter you to death but i do say juliana pena is extremely good at closing distance and that may be problematic for jermaine durandamay because amanda nunez was very good at closing distance and jermaine had really had a tough time juliana pena too also is good at, at using angles when it comes to the takedown juliana lacks in the striking department her striking is not solid okay that's always been a thing with juliana pena but, I mean, where she lacks in striking, man, that girl, she's going to get in on the inside of Jermaine. And she's going to close that distance. I don't know who I have winning the fight. But I think this, it, to me, it's 50-50. But if I had to favor somebody, I would probably more so favor Juliana because of the mauling style, the rough style. And also that Jermaine really don't like the rough style. She don't like it. Like She don't like people coming in and really trying to maul her to death. And uh, Juliana also got a chin. And so all that stuff is going to play out, man. It's going to play out in what happens in this fight. I want This is the fight that I want to see right here, okay? It makes the most sense right now, and, and, it, and it should be a contender bout. It should be a contender bout. And people saying, well, Coach, why would you think Jermaine would deserve another shot at the title? Well, Jermaine really, the only person that she's lost to in the Bantamweight division is Amanda Nunes. That's it. And, you know, she just beat, uh, she just beat Rocky Pennington. Okay, Rocky was ranked at five, so I mean... If we're going to use the ranking system, you know, we all say the ranking system sometimes is garbage, but it's what the UFC uses. Who would better yet? Juliana been waiting her time. And Juliana, the only person that she's ever lost to in the UFC was Valentina Shevchenko, who's no longer in a division. So I don't think now that, I think Juliana deserves an opportunity to fight for the title. I mean, hell, they let Rocky, who didn't, to me, you know, they let Rocky fight for the title, who was injured. So why not let a healthy Juliana Pena go in and fight for the title? Okay, if she can get past Jermaine Durandamay. This would be a hell of a fight, y'all. Guys, this fight, it will be a hell of a fight. And I think it should be on a main card. That's just me. But you guys tell me what you think. Who you got winning this fight? Pena, Pena or Durandamay? Okay, I think I may have to favor Pena a little bit. But it is what it is. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harris. And I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.